Yeah, good afternoon, y'all. Um, I've done a little bit since the last time I made a video, which I tried to upload one and it wouldn't do it for whatever reason, I don't know. But um, I got some more of the ceiling panels off back here. And it just really doesn't look too bad. It's got a lot of um, bracing up there, which I'm thankful for. And up here, I had um, a cupboard type thing that had a reader board up there in that top window. And they took it out and I took off the um, the plastic that went around it because I initially wanted to put a television up there, make a cupboard and put a television up there. And I don't know, I really like having all that light coming in. That is just really cool. But I found that there's might be a little bit of a problem here. I'm not comfortable with, and I don't know if I can, you can see it real clearly, but there's a brace here. And right here, this is not metal. It's like a spongy something. And this is metal and this is metal, and this is metal. But this flexes, and I think it kind of flexes too much for me. If you're going down the highway, that's, that's pretty flexible. I'm not really sure how it's supposed to be. And this bar here, I'm sorry for the light. Um, it, held part of the cover that was up here. So, and the cupboard came here with the door and then it come across to about there. And it anchored in there. So I took all that off and it's got, um, oh yuck, looks like bugs and mice and everything else kind of burrowed into it. <clears throat> So it's coming down and um, it's the fiberglass insulation and you know what the other insulation looks like. It's um, spray foam. So that part I'm glad for. This one I would like to have a spray foam also. But we'll see what I can do. And apparently this front cap on the roof is a fiberglass. So I gotta be very careful walking around up there because I don't want to crack it. Um, and I noticed that there's some rust right here. I could probably just, I think this is the worst rust that I've seen <clears throat> in here so far. Because <coughs> these are what the other braces look like and those aren't really bad at all. But that for some reason is. Why is that? I'm a why person. I gotta know why something's doing something. So, holy cow, I don't know. This is a brace. They had, this is where they had the hole that they just took something out of and didn't bother putting anything over the hole. So, rain and everything else could get in here. So I put duct tape over the outside of it. <laughs> but it kept the, the water out because we did have quite a bit of snow this year, which is unusual. But this is a, a metal plate and it screws in to these braces here to hold whatever that was up there, which I'm going to say it was an antenna. So I can just keep that up there. And I'm gonna have a CB radio in here, so I'll probably just put the antenna up through there because it's already there. I've got a mess of wiring harness here. I don't know what anything goes to, but it runs down this wall. And some of it goes to the um, 
the breaker box, the fuse box, which is on the outside on the other side of that panel, on the other side of this panel. So, and it runs all the way back here. It comes out at, and then it just kind of dead ends over here. Get my finger right. <laughs> so, I think a whole lot of that wiring is going to go away because basically all I want to do is run the air conditioner heater which is behind that cover there on the top part. The bottom part right in here is where the engine cover is that you have to access to work on the engine. So there's tail lights, brake lights, um, license plate light, clearance lights, um, starter maybe, I'm not real sure, and this, I'm not sure what it is. Somebody said that they thought that it might be an inverter, so I'm not real sure. It just doesn't say. So, I'm curious. But I've been sick and then I had surgery on my foot, so I haven't been out here in a while. Plus, we had probably a foot and a half of snow, which is unusual for this part of the year, or part of the country. Every once in a while we'll get it. I'll show you what the engine looks like. Oh, and I had a battery blow up or freeze. I come out and I saw that on the ground. And I thought, why is my battery reservoir cover out here? So I opened it up and I saw that. And I had a charger on it to try to keep it warm enough in there so that it wouldn't freeze. So it was a defective battery anyway. I kind of have a feeling that the kid I bought it from swapped out batteries so that he had good batteries and I got these batteries but I don't know for sure <coughs> anyways <coughs> this is what um, my engine looks like compartment I think that this is a compressor of some sort and I think it <coughs> excuse me <coughs> is for the air conditioner unit. I don't know what it is. I, I can't even say. I don't even know. I know this is the engine. <laughs> That's about all I know. It's a Cummins 8.3. supposed to be the one that's sought after. And then there's this thing. I don't know what this is. But it it's directly connected to the exhaust. So comes out of this pipe, hooks it to it down there. And then this goes up out of the bus and comes out right there. Um, this whole compartment up here is the air conditioner heater and it's massive so I'm still debating whether I should keep that or not for some reason they have kind of a I don't even know what it was but this is like a paper just nasty got wet and this is the framing that was supposed to hold it up there um, over here you can see where it's kind of sort of what it was supposed to look like and over there it's really bad this came from Arizona and it does rain in Arizona people and this right here is also part of the framing that was holding this up this is like a plastic outer and maybe that was supposed to be an insulation something but of course 
it leaked up above constantly. So yeah, I'm going to take this in and have it all checked out. And um, ask them to take out what I don't need and leave what I do need. And I've got some kind of a, a leak underneath. And I think the leak is hydraulic. So if I don't need the hydraulic, then I want to get rid of the hydraulic. But it probably has to go with hydraulic brakes and it's air brake actually. And um, maybe hydraulics open up the door, and it does. Opens up those doors. And the front door I'm gonna keep, the back door I'm going to en enable so it doesn't work anymore. But that's in a, a later video. Anyway, I've got 11 and a half minutes on this, so I'm going to sign off. And thanks for watching, and I hope this makes sense. <laughs> anyway, y'all have an awesome, wonderful day. And I am because I get to be outside. Yes. Bye.